from Ad Wigs. It's not a lace wig, it's a silk base wig. It came in this really cute black box with gold trim. I really like this because it matches my house. Inside was the most impressive display of things that I've ever gotten inside of a wig box. Don't know why I'm excited for all this stuff because I can literally buy this myself, but I don't. So freaking excited. It came with these two clips. They work so well, I love these clips. And for once, a real wig cap, not one of them little mesh things that nobody actually wears. Pinky <laughs> pink eyelashes. Even if I don't use these eyelashes, this case, this is a great eyelash case. The eyelashes actually look really nice for once. Like, the company has their own mink 3D lashes? Like, gosh dang, I'm not surprised. With the hairline like this, I'm not surprised they got their own lashes. I feel like using one of these bobby pins they gave me because they gave it to me. How sweet. I don't know what I'm doing. Anytime I pin my hair back like this, I look like a 12 year old. Hi, welcome to the Disney Channel. I am reviewing a silk base wig. Guys, if you do not know what silk base means, instead of having lace here, it's actually a silk base top, which is so much more realistic than a lace front wig. If you scroll down my Instagram, I wanna say maybe like seven or six months ago, I never, ever, ever mess with lace. I just did it. I always wore custom wigs that I made out of like wefted hair and frontals or closures, and I would always get a silk base closure because they look so much more realistic, just so much more. It's like, it's definitely worth the money. Usually the price difference isn't that huge of a difference to get like such a realistic looking part. It wasn't until recently that I started wearing lace front wigs, and that was only because I was sick of making my own wigs, and when you buy already made wigs, usually they're lace wigs. So, nice job, Ad Wigs. Nice job having a silk base wig. Yes! I am back, y'all. I'm back. This is a Brazilian silk base wig in 20 inches, the color 1B. It is a medium cap size and 130% density. I read that like a speech. It had a comb on the side, a comb on the other side. There's a comb in the middle, but I don't know why, but there was no comb in the back, which I found very strange because this wig is just winning on all platforms, but there was no comb in the back. There was adjustable straps, which was definitely helpful. I cut off the lace and in doing so, I was so surprised at how amazing this dang hairline is. Guys, I don't even know what to say. This hairline is legit. Like, you don't have to do anything. It's so hard to have a wig that you can just put on and go. There, there's no such thing. This one, girl, put it on and go, put it on and go. Not only, not only was it pre-plucked, but it was bleached. I, I have a double chin, like I can't. Usually it's like silk base and then there's a little bit of lace that's kind of where the baby hairs are. The whole part that had lace was bleached. So I glued down the front. I really wanted you guys to be able to see this hairline because it's so freaking nice. So I used the Ghost Bond Devil Ghost Bond glue to glue down the front only like here to here. Don't want to get it on my hair. Look at this hairline without me doing anything. I haven't plucked anything, I haven't cut any baby hairs. After I glued it down, I then cut a few baby hairs. I'm gonna go in with a little razor and then I'm gonna cut the baby hairs. I slicked down the baby hairs with some eco styling gel. I have a lighter one of these, but I'm too lazy to go to the bathroom and get it. Look at that. That was 
<laughs> like I didn't have anything to do because it was such a good wig. And because I had nothing to do, I then went in and curled the hair very loosely. So this wig does hold a curl very well. I put some very, very loose like beach waves in here. I like, I was really lazy in the back, but I just wanted to see how it will curl. Part of section in the front, not very big. Take the wand and you're gonna put, wrap the hair around the wand going down. Under the hair, but I'm still gonna wrap down. If you are looking for a wig that you can throw on your head and it will look nice and it will look natural, you need to check out this company. Hairline gets an A plus with extra credit, with final exam exemption. This junk meets all the criteria. That's not even a word. This, <laughs> this freaking hairline is just, it's legit guys. It's, it's so bomb, I cannot stress that enough. The hair is pretty soft, but it was tangling a little bit. So the only bad points I will say is that it was tangling a little bit, not a lot, but a little. And it doesn't have a comb in the back, which is weird. But I mean, I can sew one in. It's not, it's really not hard. Thanks, Lily. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, links will be down below. Definitely worth going to check out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos. And yeah, see you guys next time.